My favorite place to meet young women is at a wedding. Young women I don't know for any other any other way. Which young women? And the quote from Don Steele under the picture says, a seven who will date you three times is a 10. That's right. Let's divide the female population into women, almost women, young women, and girls. Women are over 30. 25 to 29 year olds are almost women. Young women are 18 to 24. Girls are under 18. Full on women, there are four groups, each requiring a different courtship approach. This is for guys that are gonna to have to start at the top of the age ladder and the bottom of the beauty scale. That means you're just divorced, you don't know what the fuck you're doing, or a young, inexperienced guy. You have to start at the top of the age ladder and the bottom of the beauty scale. There are four groups of women, 30 to 34, 35 to 39, 40 to 45, and over 45. Almost women are courted as over 25 or not 30. Young women only cover seven years, but these are four distinct courtship groups. This causes a lot of readers heartburn. And they've, uh, they've written to me so many times about this, and I'm gonna answer it again as I read this. The four groups are 21 to 24, hard, that's the name of the group. 20 to 21, harder. 19 to 20, hardest. 18 to 19, impossible. Jailbait, preposterous. <laughs> Those are the groups, hard, harder, hardest, and impossible and preposterous. 21 to 24, hard. 20 to 21, harder. 19 to 20, hardest. 18 to 19, impossible. Jailbait. Those girls are it's preposterous. Don't even bother, don't do it. Not because of the ego, because it's illegal. Not because of the immoral. It's not immoral. Christ on a crutch. Hunter gathers girls are having babies at 13 and 14 with a guy who's eight years older than them. He's the best hunter. She's young enough to get the best hunter. That means the richest guy in that tribe. So younger, older is normal. You have what she wants. You have the ability to provide, protect, and have a good time. Jimmy is barely able to put gas in his fucking pickup truck, okay? So they go to McDonald's. And you take her to the California Grill. The target population, white or raised white, 18 to 24, healthy, non-handicapped, upper lower class to lower upper class. I'm gonna say it again, upper lower class to lower upper class. Slightly below average, Playmate of the month looks, average to genius IQs, almost virgins to rosy round heels, high school grads to Stanford grads, with and without boyfriends, divorced or living together, working, unemployed, underemployed, students, introverts, extroverts, suburban and small to mid-sized city dwellers, no car, bicycle, moped, daddy's car, own car, living at home, in the dorm, has an apartment with a roommate, her own apartment, beer drinkers to meth users. In short, C minus and up. We're not interested in needs. Jailbait, over 25, ghetto dwellers, low rider Mexicans, most Asians, lower and upper class, virgins, standoff ugly, stupid, hookers, high school dropouts, married, engaged or separated, rural and small town residents, druggies, biker chicks and all other lowlifes, in short, D plus and down. <laughs> Montel Williams took offense at that. <laughs> Too fucking bad, that was before PC. What a difference a year makes. No individual will fit the descriptions below. Every, every blue moon you will meet a 21 year old woman. That's woman with a capital W. And other times you'll find a 27 year old is no more mature than a high school girl, an unemployed, spoiled, rotten princess living at home. Pay attention. What a difference a year makes. 18 to 19. Working or in college, high school ways still guide her life. She's testing herself and teasing you. Lives at home or in the dorm. Is dependent, even if she acts independent. 
She always has a boyfriend who bores her shitless, but she's afraid to break up and be on her own. Very limited sexual experience. Sometimes uses no birth control. In general, a hassle. A tremendous amount of time and patience is required and rarely worth the effort. Brighter, extroverted ones might be. Susie, Penny, and Tina were, I rarely bother anymore. 19 to 20. Has dropped many high school values and is beginning to realize there may be more to life than cruising the boulevard. She's been to Palm Springs where she picked up a boy and slept with him. If in college or working in a big office, she's considered sleeping with her prof or her boss. She gets into bars and clubs with fake ID and feels really grown up there. More able to deal with life and its problems, but she's still moving in old circles, coming alive sexually, but it confuses her when she wants someone other than her boyfriend, Jimmy. About 30% are on the pill. Most others take precautions. Substantial time and effort is required. Maybe worth it if you like her as a person. When you're making progress, she's worth two months of courtship, but no more. Time's a-wasting. Carla was worth it all. See the book's dedication to find out why. 20 to 21, see typical 20 year old. 21 to 24, now notice there was one year in 18 to 19, one year in 19 to 20, one year in 20 to 21, but now we're going 21 to 24. Those are all in one group. Delightful, over her first love and reaching for the unknown, but can still behave like a 14 year old and a 40 year old within an hour. 21 to 22, delightful. 22 to 23, delightful plus. 23 to 24, delightful, degrading into want to be married. 24 to 25, on the steep part of degrading, but still far better than any woman. Home or way. The one who doesn't live at home is always a better choice. She doesn't have the daily hassle of dealing with neurotic parents, envious sisters, and protective brothers. With only Jimmy to snow, she can spend the night or go away with you on weekends. I had an off again sometimes affair with Jean over a two-year stretch and an affair of eight months with Tina. They both lived at home but worth all the shenanigans required to do it again. Co-eds are working girls. Co-eds don't have much money, but they have lots of time. Working girls don't have much time, but unlike co-eds, their world doesn't revolve around the lack of money. A college girl is more educated, knows, knows the nine planets, but has little understanding of what makes the world go round. She doesn't know much about men since her choice limited to boys. Joe College or dirty old professors. Her choice is limited to boys, Joe College or dirty old professors. She's a quick study having read about older lovers and is smart enough to realize you could be a hell of a good time. The working girl is pragmatic. She's in the real world, not the academic world. She's out there every day among them. She, she understands males of every age better. She has a beginner's grasp of what makes the world work. Brighter ones are quick to realize the benefits of an older lover. The best young lover, the ideal young woman lives away from home without a boyfriend with smarts or a working girl is going to college. She's serious about getting ahead in the world as opposed to one who's saving for a grand wedding. The bright ones are so much more fun in every way. They have brain power to look at the world and decide for themselves what the rules will be instead of unthinkingly accepting the shoulds and shouldn'ts of our culture. How many are there? In 2020, 16 million between 18 and 24. A million will be black, which makes it nearly impossible. 15 million in county. Another 3 million in rural areas. Impossible. 12 million in county. Deduct those in mental hospitals, jails, pregnant, or mentally or physically handicapped. Those with an IQ below 100, ethnics who don't date white boys. We're down to 6 million in county. And eliminate another million fatsos and uglies, 5 million in holding. Roger, lift off at 4 million. In Whittier, California, there are five high schools. Rio Honda Community College and Whittier College. I live in a paradise full of young women. I've calculated there are more than 15,000 unmarried, average enough females, 18 to 24, within 10 miles of my house. Probably 5,000 are living with a guy. Gee whiz, only 10,000 left to choose from. If you live in the suburbs of a large city, your choice is as wide as mine. 
You say you've noticed a lot of talk about boyfriends. Disillusioned? Don't be. You won't know what really makes her tick until you find out why she has a boyfriend. He makes little difference to her. He must make no difference to you.